Sightliners and welcome back to the channel. You find me with Kay, Nige, Winnie and Liam on a local beach. Um, set up gone out is one up and over with the peeler crab and the other one is a horse with a loop rig, one with ragworm, one with half peeler crab. Now we're hoping that we can find the peel tip. Obviously, bass, and smooth hamper are the, are the species that could be caught here. And before I arrive, Liam managed one small bass. Right, it's getting windy. The wind's going right across the table, but I'm having problems with my audio equipment again. Um, for some strange reason, when I plug in my audio stuff, it comes on and it's on, it goes off, it comes on, it comes off. I don't understand what's happening. When I plug them in at home, it works. So, any suggestions, guys? You'd be welcome to hear that. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well um, and that uh, your fishing's going well. We're hoping that we can get into some fish tonight, which doesn't include dogfish. Not pro it's something that probably won't happen. I mean, one of us will probably see a dogfish, if not all of us. But let's hope there'll be something worth having in the middle of it. Right. It's now 28 minutes past nine o'clock. We're starting on the flood now. And anything could happen when the light starts fading. So, like usual, we'll have a sauce of a reload to go. <laughs> Liam reckons he's into a fish here. He's going to lose it because he's let it go slack. When he's leaving, he's had enough. Kay's into a hound here, guys. Don't give it any slack. You wish.
Was that one worm key? On the worm? Yeah. yeah. Do they scream off or just Yeah, it's starting to. Yeah. It's rolling. Right. It is rolling. Oh, is it? Yeah. I got that in. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, there we go. Little hound. Only a babby. Saves a blank. Saves a blank. Oh, it's not a dogfish. This is a kiss, this one. You want to kiss it, are you? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why I put these on either because I got a blinking hole in it. So, that's a good one to see. Hopefully, there'll be a few more. And then you heard that, that was on the ragworm. That would have been fresh ragworm dug by Winnie himself. Guys, best ragworm that you can buy, fresh local stuff. Dug by Winnie and a few of the other guys that he has working with him. If you're ever in Hollyhead, guys, and you need ragworm, then Winnie's Worms is the, definitely the place for you to go. Nowhere else. The other places have worm, but it won't be of anywhere near the same quality as what you get in Winnie's. It's a saucer of earth, so I can do all. Okay, so the next bait I'm going to put out is something that I've not tried an awful lot of. And that is a prawn. Now, I found these in the freezer section in Aldi, no, sorry, Aldi, Little the other day. Um, Spanish ones. Um, anyway, so I'm going to try that because I've seen a lot of anglers having success on hounds on prawn. Also, on bass as well. So. Let's give it a go. Oh dear. Nigel has just found the Polish fisherman. Oh dear. No, look at this. A bit of a, bit of a pickle here. <laughs> Rod's went over, we're just trying to sort him out. And he's into what he thinks is a decent hound. Got a fish on here, Liam. Oh, f box. <laughs> oh, beat that out. No, my box is there. Uh... Yeah, there's a hound at the back of that, I can see it. Yeah, I can't. You'll have to walk back. I've got this your other rod in my hand here. This one's in, in and amongst that tangle somewhere. It's not a bad hound, that. That's a good hound, that. Yeah, it does. It's a nice hound. Yeah, a nice little chunk. Right, let's get back to your rod rest, yeah? Mine's in the water. Look at that for a, a sunset. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I'll stop recording on this, yeah? Right, guys. Gone and done it again here. Another beautiful hound. Caught perfectly with the limitless um, 
circle hook. I can't remember which one exactly, which pattern this six it was, but it's right in the corner of the mouth, the circle. This fish could go double the figures, I think. Um, ow, ow. Right, let's get this fish unhooked, get it weighed. Um, Mikey, come on, sit. Pattern? You think so? Right guys, let's get this done quickly. Get that light off. Beautiful hound. The last one I had here was ten pound or nine pound fourteen, something like that, if I remember rightly, or nine pound twelve. Right, yeah, I reckon this won't be far off that either. There you go guys, it's on zero. And that's going 11, 11, 5. Yep, 11 pound 5. My second thickest one ever. Oh, well, that little bag weighs at least 4 pound. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play, good fish that, mate. Yeah, there. Very good fish, well done. Done it again. <laughs> you let me do these. Sometimes. <laughs> well, I love you more if you were on 30 not, species. You've not blanked, have you? No, I've not. I showed him where the fish were. Yeah, he's a lovely hound, though. She is. She. Yeah. Put that in the bucket, I'm interested. Right, there we are, guys. One last show. £11.5. Second biggest hound off the shore ever. Not much a dig. To invest in some new acres. What a beauty. Woohoo! Well, guys, that was a magnificent fish again. Everyone's gone now, they've gone to the dock looking for mini species. Um, the weed here now is absolutely um, appalling. So, what I might do is fish these two baits out and I'll have to go home first to pick up my small rod and uh, I may just go and uh, meet them up there. I mean, what time is it now? Quarter to 11. I might just do that. I didn't know that they were planning to do that, so I didn't bring that one with me. Anyway. Like I said, I'll fish these out. I've got the prawn in now. Interesting. See what happens with it. Uh, and if I do go to the dock, I might throw some bigger baits in there too. See if you get a... I don't know, see what's in there. Right, hope you're enjoying what you see. Hope you enjoyed the footage of that um, nice hound. Um, thank you, Kane, for filming that one. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully... Hit the like and subscribe button. Button down here somewhere. Down there somewhere. Hit that the logo and get subscribed. Don't forget to hit the bell as well, and you'll get further notifications when the videos are up. Not a good day. All the gear is packed up. I'll put the camera stuff away now and get out of here. If I can get my gear and go and join the boys in the uh, in the dock. See if I can add to anything on the species list. But not a blank, 
but very very nice uh, hound second best one i've ever had not for sure um 11 5 or something like that i said that i'll remember afterwards but anyway let's move on not look at the right, tight liners as you can see we're all here again back together again <laughs> <laughs> and we're on the dock um at the moment nothing's happening the only good thing that's happening as soon as i got here pan out from night nice as well. And it's a great pan as well. Oh. Right, let's do half an hour, three quarters of an hour and see what happens. I'm my Ideally, Kay would like his leopard spotted, I would like my black gopi and possibly a sand smelt. Um, There's none of that anyway. Let's see what happens. Let's get a bait in the water because at the moment I'm going to catch nothing. <laughs> right guys, so as you've seen earlier, the weed got absolutely too much down there and uh, wow. So I thought I'd come down here for a bit. Went home, got my little gear and uh, hopefully there'll be something here now. Came down earlier this afternoon and I got a whole load of rock uh, gobies and shani. They're no good to me because I've had them already. Anyway, so I'll sort of what I can dig with, but I can do. Right guys, nothing doing here really. Very quiet. Not had a bite since I've been here. Um, Liam had a couple of dogfish, but we don't want to talk about them. <laughs> We've seen way too many dogfish over the last three weeks. It's ridiculous. So the only fish that we seen tonight that's to of note are the two hounds that Kay and I had. Nothing doing. Small bass. On Kay and I, yeah, did have a small bass. Bedtime. I think it might be me. Yeah. I'll get me leopard spotted another day. Yeah. I'm look. <laughs> yeah. Before anyway. the end of June. <laughs> <laughs> right, no more for dig. Right guys, as you can see, back home. Nothing happening on the dock tonight. So what I might do is I might have a go after school tomorrow and uh, see what I can do. Maybe dock back or dock mouth. There was a lot more life in dock mouth this afternoon when I went there than... Well, I'm saying this afternoon, no, it was yesterday afternoon. It is now coming up to one o'clock in the morning. Time for a shower and bed and school again tomorrow. Not long now before school holidays and uh, hopefully get out and get some great content for you over the holidays. Anyway, what I'll do then is say goodnight for now and try again tomorrow. Good afternoon, Tightliners, and welcome back. So, we found this yesterday, of course, down on the beach. That one, 11 pound five. That smooth hound. Then we tried the big dog, looked for mini species. I can do it. So, I come out again today, it's Thursday, after school, and it's blustery to say the least. There's rain in the air, and it's not nice at all. We're going to give it a go. About half an hour, I think, and uh, see if we can add anything to the list. So, I've come to Dock Bach today for a little bit, and uh, I've got my rig farms so on. Looking to see if I can get that black one. Saucer of Earth, Miller Arbor, Miller Kindor. Okay, so the first fish down the side today, Gold Cine. I already have this one, and I keep on getting it. Right guys, that is the end of that. Um, the rain's coming down heavy now. Um, I got another ball and ras as soon as I put it down after that uh, gold cine. Um, but anyway, I not getting many bites um, on the inside where I was hoping that I could get a black gopi. So that one's going to have to wait again. 
the sand smelt is going to have to wait again. But anyway, thank you for joining me um, over the two days. Um, yet another fantastic hound again last night, like I said, 11.5. Well happy with that. Um, to have three over £10 this year. In a, oh, I've never had a £10 before then. So to get three this year is amazing. So like I said earlier, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll plan the next one. There is a match at the weekend in Clan Badrig, um, over the north side of the island. I, it was one of the venues where I fished in the last video. Um, that is weather permitting, obviously. So hopefully I'll get one more session in before then, maybe Friday night, tomorrow night maybe, or Saturday morning. Again, weather depending. So anyway guys, until the next time, keep your lines tight.